Alright, welcome back to Jump One Half. Only a handful of levels left now, about ten or so at most, I think. So, I'm gonna go to Edinburgh first, I think. Uh, I'll probably just alternate between the two paths for now. Oops, not this menu. Debris Sunset. Alright, let's see what this level's about. It's kind of strange to have a backdoor-looking tower in the middle of nowhere. So... This is definitely at least a little bit intriguing. Cloning time. Press L or R to spawn a Mario clone. These clones are built to stomp switches with ease. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Go for it, Mario. All right, so this is certainly a thing so far. Demo is spawning Mario's for some reason, and I suppose that he'll, this guy will, whoops. Okay, he just bounces off. It doesn't look like he can stomp on them. Heh, <laughs> your turn to get shoved off. I'm assuming there will be more puzzle elements as I go. Whoops. Okay, so pressing it again gets rid of the Mario clone. Okay, so the trick here, we want to ride the platform and drop them when necessary. There we go. That worked out well. I'm feeling like this is going to be a level that it sucks to die on. So we do this, and we hit our own switch at the wrong time, apparently. And we need to reset to bring the platform back. This doesn't look too bad, I just screwed it up. Nice, whoops. I tried to spin jump, but I have the... wait, I, I better get the pipe. There, controls map correctly now. So the trick here... So I suppose to... Okay, we want... we just want to hit the blue switch at the right time, have him land on that, and then we go in. Nice. How does this work if I drop... Oh! Oh, wow! <laughs> so this is a trick from the other level. It's just funny to watch the Mario die like that. There we go. This is probably gonna up the ante a little bit. Oh, whoops. So we want to just kill the Mario at the right time. There we go. And that wasn't the right time. Nice. Got it. Oh, we probably just want to kill the Mario ourselves. Oh, that's interesting. If I spawn it while holding the block, he just instantly dies. Oh, that's useful tech, I suppose. Midpoint. Cool. Press L or R to despawn the Mario clone. From now on, you'll need to despawn the clone to solve the puzzles. Okay. You can't go through the pipe. That's good to know. I can't go through this pipe. I guess that's why respawn for the midpoint. So yeah, it looks like we want to let him stop on the switch, and then we get rid of him. Goodbye. Okay, this is going to require some timing. And that was not the right timing. <laughs> What's... Why are these blocks here, exactly? Like, is there some reason why I would want to go down there, or why it would be hard to avoid going down there? Okay. Dang it, I did not respawn that... despawn him fast enough. There. Um, what's up with that pipe? Oh, I guess it respawns me there if I go through the door. Okay, so we just want to drop this guy through, release the mole, and then go with the right timing, I think. Oh, the mole went that way. I might want to bounce him off. Uh, a second clone. That might be the trick here. Bounce, and then I can go on top of you. There we go. Got the timing right, which was good. Actually, I didn't need to time it at all, but I assumed he would just fall for some reason. Oh, hey, one-ups. I'm suspecting I probably don't want to go down there. But I guess I can. Does that mean... It I, I don't think those were midpoint 1-ups, because I, I didn't spawn them, but... 
So we want the truck to land on the block. Let's just try this timing. I guess I can just hit the other switch. Let's try when he jumps there. Nope. There we go. Cool, now I can just bounce on you, and here we go. What's up here? Is there anything? I don't know if this level has a secret exit, because it's not uh, a yellow or red level. Okay. Um, what's my goal here, exactly? Not sure what I was supposed to do. Maybe I was supposed. Oh wait, I'm supposed to avoid the switch getting pressed, so I need to bounce the moles again. There. Not that hard to actually execute, thankfully. Let's see. So it's pretty clear that I just want to hit hit the yellow switches. I think what I want to do is this. Deposit Mario there and then kill him. Except I missed. Oh, and then I have to despawn him too. I didn't see those blue switches down there because my FPS counter's in the way. It's not even like I need the FPS counter or anything. I just forgot to turn it off. Oh, so I guess if I get here with a different switch hit, I can get the spring and then the moon. But, whatever. I'm fine with that result. That was actually a pretty chill level, considering it's the post-game. Wasn't brutal by any means. It wasn't even really that hard to figure out, to be honest. Job V7. So I'm just gonna assume that there's no secret eggs in this level. I think the level info tells me if there's a secret exit, so I think there isn't one. Alright, let's go the other way. We love Piranha. Whoops, I forgot to check who, who made this thing. Whoa, okay, I, I see Piranhas down there. Did they actually hurt me? No, those are background. For a second I was thinking, oh boy, this level is really going to be a thing, isn't it? But no, if they don't hurt me, at least not yet, is my guess. They'll probably hurt me later, I wouldn't be surprised. Rats, I mistimed my button push for the next jump. Let's just go. Grab myself a mushroom. Looks like I'm supposed to just walk off. Oh, there's water down here. It didn't matter how fast I walked off. We're just gonna wait here. There. Uh, rush that one. Whoops. Almost ran into that fish there. Alright, take that, Charlie, and I'm just running. Oh, thank goodness, there's a midpoint. I was definitely starting to feel pretty tense there. I'm glad I managed to make it to the midpoint first shot, because that would have been a thing to redo, that's for sure. What's with the yellow brick here? Whoa! Okay. It fell. Okay, I was wondering for a second, like, how am I supposed to get into that pipe when this much is on it? But obviously, no. That wasn't my goal. Uh-oh. Okay, that was actually perfect. Let's just wait here. That's fine. No problem. Get my mushroom back. Lose it immediately. Fun times. Oh, I'll have to wait around here apparently. I probably could have chosen a better spot to wait in there. Oh, I'm supposed to... I'm dumb. <laughs> I shouldn't have been trying to get through that way. That didn't make any sense. I should have, you know, noted the completely solid ground to my left. <laughs> Alright, let's not go too fast this time, and wait in the correct spot. There we go, much better. I still have both of my power-ups. Just try and stall for as long as possible, and apparently jump into the Charlie 
good enough. Gotta wait for that thing to fall. Let me grab this. Uh, I guess we need to hit that block. I think I'm gonna need to wait another cycle. There, perfect. And that's the end. Nice. That was a that was a really fun platforming level. Like it was just standard uh, fireballs and chucks, but the placements made me, meant you had to think on your feet and figure out what to do next. It's actually going. Things are actually going pretty fast today. By snails. I think I don't remember that name from anywhere else in this hack so far. Uh, job V seven. More so, more so. He finally shows up in a full level. And it's in the post game. I guess that's to be expected. This might be a true more sell, more so level. Okay, we got fire. We've also got a free cake, which is nice. And we've definitely got to constantly be on the ball. Oh, and I have to use them too. That makes it even harder. What am I doing? You can't spin those. <laughs> Pinch up on you. You fire at normal rate. That was really close. But thankfully the pencils have weird hitboxes. Probably best to just wait for those guys. Spin you. Now we use you to ascend. We're gonna have to do this in chunks, aren't we? Oh, I'm supposed to use this. I was supposed to go in the other one, too. I'm not sure why I wasn't paying attention, especially since it's uh, marked exactly the same way. Oh, thank goodness, a midpoint. Better get there. <laughs> Don't want to lose after all that. Oh, this is weird. This, this feels very uncomfortable. And I'm not sure why I tried to get to the reset door. It's a reset door. Like, that's not my goal here. Oh, this... yeah. The... Oh, yeah, okay. I gotta go back to the reset door. I'm dumb. So we want to go right, left, right again, and then not do that. Darn it. Now that I think about it, there's nothing stopping me from going into the, uh... Oh, boy. There's nothing stopping me from going into the reset door again to get a second power-up, but it's not like it helps all that much, so I'm not gonna bother. Let's just reset immediately. This feels like more of a memorization obstacle than anything. I'm not sure I can react to this fast, especially when... The action you have to take feels kind of loopy. You go left again. Darn it, I didn't want to lose that. There might be more level after this, which is why I don't really want to lose my uh, rosary. The mushrooms I'll get back, but... Oh. Go right, and left twice, and back to the left. And then we need to go all the way back to the right. Okay. Why do I have 25 lives? I feel like I lost a couple and didn't really get any, but... Shoot, there's more. That felt, that kind of felt like it was going to be the end, but it wasn't apparently. Oh, made it. Okay, that one was the end. Gotta go all the way right and then all the way back left again. Now, let's see what this boss is going to be, because I don't have a checkpoint. It's, uh, it's Resnor. 
but we also have fire. That's fine. Doesn't matter at all. There we go. I bought enough Resnor to... That, that's not going to be too much of a problem. Anyone who's played a lot of vanilla is going to not have too much of a problem with the vanilla-ish bosses. Sunset Tower. Well, we're going back to the other side to see what's over here. Perturbing Paste. I'm wondering if this has anything to do with palatable perturbations or whatever it's called from uh, the original jump. So I'm expecting water that reverses my controls. And it's made by Miracle Water, which makes me double expect water that reverses my controls. <laughs> Point of advice, that gooey up ahead sure is sticky. Hold down the jump button to keep yourself from falling. So this isn't the goo. Now there's dragon coins in this level and there's probably, oh, a mushroom up here. Well, I'll take that too. Oh, and we just stick to it and we can release the jump button to fall whenever we want. And then, or slide off the edge. There's a dragon coin just sitting there. I'll take that. Not much of a puzzle to work out how to get to that one. Hold the button. We've got even more fire spitting plants. Apparently that's a gimmick for practically two levels in a row. Actually, it is two levels in a row if I just take the right path instead of swapping back and forth like I've been doing. Oh, so you retain upwards momentum. Given that the premise is that goo is sticky, it doesn't really make any sense, but it's certainly fun to play. Okay, don't see anything in this area. Let's just spin jump these guys. Get them out of the way. Doesn't look like anything down here, but thanks for the one up. Oh, you guys stick to it briefly, too. Oh, uh, I got a go back and forth again. Oh, his shell is still there, so he's not going to respawn. Let's go to the right and then back to the left. we got to bounce on him at the first opportunity. There we go. Now we fly up here. Wow, that was bad timing. Like, I couldn't have thrown a fireball in there at all because I timed it literally the worst possible that I could have done. Ugh, I was trying to flip that up into his face, but that didn't work. Well. Oh, this feels weird. Oh. <laughs> I, I just assumed I was meant to go over that, but went over it a little bit too fast. Okay, this is certainly a way to ride the disco. Uh, let's have him go back and forth again because that fine will take me to the next part of the level, I suppose, since the dragon coin's down here. That wasn't too bad. Alright, so I have three dragon coins. I'm really hoping for a midpoint soon. For all I know, there's no midpoint in this level at all, but. It would certainly be nice if there was. Whoops. Okay. It's another bullet obstacle. We can just do that. And that doesn't really work, but... Okay, there's the midpoint that I wanted. Jump quick. And land on it, just in case there's some sort of blind jump here, or some jump... Or more likely some jump that I was supposed to look at earlier, but didn't. <laughs> Get ourselves a fire flower. That destroys oh yeah right those destroy anything i'm carrying and anything that i try to bring through i'm assuming that was just supposed to illustrate the fact that i can't bring the spring through not uh oh oh whoops i didn't even notice the goo there for some reason which considering it's the gimmick of the level is kind of a fail stomp you Point of advice, when you see blue coins, toss an item at an angle and watch it glide across the ceiling. Uh-oh. Oh. That's how I'm supposed to deal with you. Goodbye to both of you, and here's my shell. 
I'd try to shell jump if I didn't have the fire flower. Just for kicks and giggles, but with the fire flower I would probably destroy it and then feel like an idiot. Well, there goes that shell. Hopefully I didn't need it. Let's just jump back, because I know what I'm getting into here. Here's where we toss up the P-switch again. I was originally trying to catch it again, but that didn't make any sense, because I wasn't going to stop gliding anytime soon. So I'm assuming I just want to do that and then fry the thing. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm not missing anything there. Well, let's not do that, thanks. <laughs> well, that works. It's also funny to see the goo interact with their death animation. Let's use the goo to my advantage here. Let's fry you. <laughs> see ya! And this is all I need, so catch it again. Whoa, I almost... that almost took too long. Good, there's my dragon coin. All of them were pretty much just kind of sitting there. <laughs> they didn't really have much of an impact on the level. And I totally whipped the gold tape. Actually making lives in the post-game, that's... That's something of a surprise. It's also only been 23 minutes. Goomball machine. I'm gonna go back to Sunset Tower. I'm assuming these two paths are gonna converge somewhere in the center. Like maybe around that galaxy or something. I don't know. Snort, Pyro, and Angel. I'm expecting some sort of gimmick in this level. <laughs> There are also dragon coins, so I gotta keep on the lookout again. Okay, well, I got to see that there's nothing up there, so that's good to know. Point of advice, these happy clouds let you endlessly jump or spin jump on them in midair. You can also swap your jump type with A and B. Cool. So I can jump at any point when I'm in the middle of those clouds. And I probably will need to swap my jump type like that. That... Oh man, when they're skinny like this, so I can, basically I just have to be touching them somewhere, so it makes it a lot easier if I'm big to time this. And now here it's teaching me that I need to swap my jump type. Now we just gotta jump over this block, and I gotta swap my jump type again. Alright, this, this gimmick also feels really nice. Uh, I'm not so, so sure how I'm supposed to get the spring through there. Oh, except for my... Except for the fact that I can use the power-up to spin jump with an item. I forgot about that. Well, I'm just gonna grab it again, I guess. I wonder if maybe I could spin jump with an item using the clouds, even if I didn't have my upgrade that lets me do that. I think that would make sense. Oh, I can actually hold the button too, I don't need to time it. I've been timing it this entire time. Whoops. I know I've heard this song in one of the playlists I listened to. I don't remember what game it's from, though. Let's just do this. Throw the shell in there. I don't think I'll try to keep it in this level. Yeah, I'm really glad that I know that I can just bounce on them now. Let's just go, honestly. Okay, so here's where we definitely don't want to hold the button. But we do need to actually go through the obstacle <laughs> instead of under it. I'm assuming there was no dragon coin down there at the bottom right. 
perfect. I see some blimps up there, not sure what their deal is. This looks kind of gross. Okay, not that bad actually. Ascending glitches. Whoa, whoops. I forgot about the <laughs> I forgot about the entire gimmick as usual. When you haven't seen it on an entire screen, it's easy to forget that it even exists. Oh boy, that was close. Oh man, is there going to be two midpoints in this level? Because that would be much appreciated. Let's fix my camera, thanks. Perfect. Okay, so... I guess I want to just get momentum. Oh, that doesn't work. There. Midpoint number one. A boss door already? Am I missing, like, three dragon coins down there? I sure hope not, because I didn't really spy anywhere that they could be. Oh, okay, this is going to be a thing. Whoa, I actually made it up there. Whoa, there's a thwomp. So I guess the boss door is just saying, hey, we're turning it up a notch now. So blue coins say there's a swamp, so let's pay attention to those. Oh, whoa, that- okay, I'm glad that worked, because I had no other idea of what to do. Okay, I've actually got to go high enough to trigger it. Got this guy throwing baseballs, and I lost my power up because I was still holding the button. Let's wait another cycle. I don't want to jump the gun here. Okay, good enough. Bounce on you. Get up here. Trigger this. Let you guys fall. Okay, we want to land on the platform this cycle. And get up here. No dragon coin yet. And what is this area? This just looks like something completely different. Oh, it's Sunset Tower. We're climbing up as it gets darker. I gotta check both sides for the dragon coin, I suppose. Alright, we're going back down. Uh, well, you're not gonna fire for an eternity, so let's just go. Don't want to miss a dragon coin just because I was too lazy to check both sides. Get up here. I'm assuming we want to keep this spring for something. Oh, this looks a lot like that, uh, the one level from the original jump, and I fell. Dang it. Oh no. What am I missing here? And I better not die now. Is the dragon coin... Oh, it's just at the top. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, that's nice to know. That level... I can't believe that I got through all of that in one life. That was pretty long. Space spaghettis! <laughs> And some the level names in this game, you just gotta stop for a second and think, why on earth is it called that? Goomball Machine by Jabri Sunset and FT. I'm worried that I shouldn't be going into this level now. But whatever, let's let's take it on. Guide Mr. Goomba to the box. Press L or R to toggle the green blocks. Actually, this looks like a puzzle, so I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna can it for now. Thankfully it actually let me start and select without beating the level. I'll see you next time.